and hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we'll be talking about hot reloading or auto reloading in love now for those of you who don't know what this is hot reloading is when you change something in the code and it immediately changes here as an example uh, let's actually go here create new file test dot html this is just so i can show you you don't need to worry about this just put some basic html here okay now i tell this let's open this up in a server open with live server okay let's move this to where we can see it here now hot reloading is when i do this so i say i am cool save it immediately appears on a page i didn't have to do anything i just saved and it updated automatically this is hot reloading just makes programming a lot faster because now you don't have to worry about reloading the page or closing the app and it opening up again or closing the game and then opening up again to update it. Uh, it makes it much more simpler. Now we can do this with Love2D as well. We can actually run this code just so you can see what we have. So this is the ball game we made. The tutorial for this will be linked in the description. So when we play, you know, we can hit the ball and lose get the menu or quit anyhow so this here is what we have now what i want us to do is when we run this and let's say we change the background or we change one of these buttons then it should update immediately we shouldn't have to go like this as an example let's go to button go here and let's see here it says button play game. If I do that, I say save. I want it to update here immediately. Instead of me first having to close the game, then open it up. Now it's updated. So to do that, we can use this library called lick. Now lick is used for live coding, as you can see here. It auto reloads the code or the game for you. So let's actually use this. So first you'll need to go to GitHub and you'll need to copy this. You can either download it as a zip or you can use git to git clone this. At some point it's probably good to learn git anyway, so I recommend using git. Then here in the folder where your game is, you just say git clone, uh, paste it. Okay, so now we have it. As you'll see here, there's lick. So once you've done that, you will have your code right here. In theory, all you need to do is you can just say lick is equal to require lick then lick dot reset is equal to true and it will reload love the load every time you save so it will reload this function here does love the load it will reload that if you don't want that love to load to reload then you can just not do this now all that's in here is just a lick code and its main file so you don't need to worry too much about that and now if we were to say love dot and then let's just move this lick here to outside of that folder. And then we can delete, delete this lick folder. We didn't really need it anymore. And now here, it should find this lick. If you run it, here we go, this button. So let's say play exclamation mark game. Now it updated it automatically. Okay, let's change it from settings to options. Let's see it immediately updated. This is the power of hot reloading with Love2D. And it was as simple as just getting this lick file and then saving it in our code. And of course, when we say play game, and let's say we change the difficulty to two, save it, then you can still continue with your game, but now the difficulty will be two. And there we go. So this is hot reloading. You can apply it to a lot of games, and I might actually use it in the future when I show you how to make more games in love to because i do have a couple more at least one more game in stock that i want to make a tutorial on it's just not yet completed but once that's done i'll make a tutorial on it as well if you were interested in making your code hot reload so while you play the game you can quickly update something and make it work really nicely this is the best way to go about it in lua at least or in love where you can at least have a little bit of live reloading and you can just see your project update Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next video.